Hello everyone and welcome back to the love of sewing and craft. Today we are going to talk about sewing machines and the different parts you can find on your sewing machine and their different functions. Here you can see that we have two different machines. We have an analog machine and we have a computerized machine. I will talk separate about these two machines. Your sewing machine came with an electric cord. We can see that our machine has a foot pedal and the more you step on this foot pedal, the faster your machine will be. On one end we have the AC inlet and on the other end we have the part that goes into our sewing machine. If we look at the top of our sewing machine, we can see our thread guide. Next to it, we can find our thread guide plate with thread tension. Then we have our bobbin winding thread guide. And beside it, we can find our thread tension dial. Then we have our spool pin and spool cap. Here we have our stitch length dial and here we have our bobbin winder here we can find our reverse stitch handle and in front we can see the different stitches we can choose from on the side of the machine we can find the hand wheel and underneath the hand wheel we can find the stitch selecting dial here we have our on and off knob and we have underneath that our electrical inlet if we go back to the front of the machine we can find our presser foot level here is our needle Here, beside our needle, you can find our needle treader. And here we have our presser foot. The silver part, that is our needle plate. This is our flatbed attachment. You can remove it whenever you want to stitch cuffs and sleeves. When we open the flatbed attachment, we can open the bobbin cover, then we can see our bobbin case, and in our bobbin case, we can find our bobbin. This is our bobbin. This is an empty bobbin. Now I'll show you how to wind a bobbin and how to thread your machine to wind the bobbin we will get our thread through our spool pin put our spool cap on then pass our thread through our thread guide and then through our bobbin winding thread guide after we have done that, we will take the end of our thread and look onto our bobbin. You'll see that there are two little holes on top of your bobbin on each side. And then we will pass the thread from within through one of the eyes of the bobbin to the outside and then you'll get this effect after that we'll put our bobbin onto the bobbin winder push it to the right put your machine on and then start winding after a while you can stop cut your thread and then continue winding Whenever your bobbin is full, you will see that the bobbin will start 
turning slowly. If it's done, you can push your bobbin winder back to the left, cut the thread, and remove your bobbin. After that, we will place our bobbin into our bobbin case. and then put it back into the machine. Pull this part up and then put the bobbin case back in. After filling our bobbin, we will thread our machine. First, we will pass our, we will pass our thread through our thread guide, then through our thread guide plate with tension and then follow the arrows. We will get our thread into the hook, then go down, pass our thread through the thread guide of our needle. Make sure your needle is in its highest position and to do that, you can turn your hand wheel and then use your needle threader to thread your needle. After you have passed your thread through your needle, then we will pull the thread of our bobbin to the top. And to do that, we will hold the thread and then turn the hand wheel one time towards us and then pull. After that we will see that our thread will come on top. Here we have our thread from the top and we have our thread from our bobbin. Lift the presser foot and pass both thread to the back. Close up your bobbin case and put your flatbed attachment back onto its place and then we are ready to stitch. For demonstration purposes I will use a piece of black fabric and a piece of stabilizer. Put the presser foot down and press your foot pedal. When you're done, turn your hand wheel one time towards you so that your needle get into the highest position, lift your presser foot and pull back. Then cut the thread. And this is the stitch we've made. That's how you can sew with a analog sewing machine. Next, I will show you how to use a computerized sewing machine.